Launched in 1977, NASA's Voyager 1 has become the most distant human-made object in history. It's still traveling through interstellar space today. Its incredible journey has taken it far beyond what anyone expected. It pushed deep into the cosmos long after the mission was supposed to end. Imagine a spacecraft built over four decades ago still sending data back to Earth. It uses technology older than a cassette player. Yet, it continues to function in the freezing, dark, silent environment of space. The Voyager mission shows how far human creativity and engineering can go. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched just 15 days apart. They used a rare planetary alignment that happens only once every 176 years. This allowed them to slingshot from Earth to the outer solar system using the gravity of planets like Jupiter and Neptune to boost their speed. This clever route was discovered by Gary Flandreau, a NASA scientist. Without that rare alignment, the journey could have taken over 30 years to reach Neptune. But with it, they made it in just 12 years, speeding past giant gas planets and icy moons at incredible speeds. Originally, the mission was only expected to last four years. But it has now lasted over 45 years. Both spacecraft continue to send back information daily, proving just how durable and well-planned the technology was. Their discoveries continue to influence space science today. As they passed Jupiter, they found that its moon Io was filled with active volcanoes. This was the first time scientists saw volcanic activity outside Earth. They also saw ice fields on Europa, suggesting the possibility of subsurface oceans that could support life. In 1986, Voyager 2 flew past Uranus, and in 1989, it became the first spacecraft to fly by Neptune. Each planetary flyby brought new images and data, exposing parts of the solar system no one had ever seen before. These findings changed textbooks and scientific theories. Even though they are now more than 14 billion kilometers away, both voyagers still communicate with Earth. They keep sending back valuable scientific data that scientists are eager to study. Every byte of data expands our knowledge of the solar system and the space beyond it. The journey began with smart planning, using gravity assists around Venus and Mercury. Reaching Jupiter also meant going through the asteroid belt, a region filled with rocks and space debris. Only Pioneer 10 and 11 had done that before the Voyagers. Each spacecraft has a computer with only 69 kilobytes of memory, far less than any modern device. They were built to operate without constant input from Earth, able to perform tasks automatically. This was essential for such long missions across vast distances. Information from the Voyagers is stored on tape recorders and transmitted back to Earth. The transmitters use just 23 watts of power, about the same as a refrigerator light bulb. Yet, they send signals across billions of miles using large 12-meter dishes on Earth. These dishes are part of NASA's Deep Space Network. As the spacecraft move farther away, the signal delay increases sometimes up to 18 hours one way. Plus, signals can be disrupted by interference from everyday devices like radios and mobile phones. Even with these challenges, both Voyager spacecraft continue their mission. They have now entered interstellar space, the area beyond the reach of the solar wind. They are the first human-made objects to do this, making history again and again. They are headed toward a region known as the Oort Cloud. It's filled with icy objects and is thought to be the source of many comets. It's so far away that it could take thousands of years to reach. Still, the Voyagers are on their way, step by step. To enter interstellar space, they had to cross the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium. Scientists thought they'd find more cosmic rays beyond this point, but what they saw puzzled them. When Voyager 1 passed the heliopause on August 25, 2012, the magnetic field did not change as expected. Plasma density increased, but the direction of the magnetic field remained the same. This unexpected result challenged scientists' models of the edge of our solar system. This discovery made it clear that the boundary of our solar system is more complex than previously believed. The magnetic field and other properties didn't behave the way scientists thought they would. It was a major scientific surprise. Voyager continues to collect and send data, 
changing our understanding of space. Its instruments still work, though some have been turned off to conserve power. Every piece of data it sends is carefully examined and adds to our picture of the universe. The Voyager's journey has inspired people around the world. They have made space more real and accessible, even for those who never leave Earth. What they've shown us helps us understand how solar systems form and evolve. The discoveries made by Voyager tell us a lot about how planets, moons, and stars interact. They've shown us that some moons may hold oceans beneath their surfaces. These oceans could potentially support life, something that excites many scientists. Dr. Edward Stone, the former Voyager project scientist, once said that Voyager is not just a mission, it's a message from Earth. He noted that the mission's endurance reflects humanity's desire to explore and learn, no matter the distance. Other scientists, like Dr. Linda Spilker, have talked about how the data from Voyager continues to surprise and teach us. She's described how every new signal carries a chance of discovery. Each bit of information can be groundbreaking. Carl Sagan, who helped design the Golden Record, once said it was a bottle thrown into the cosmic ocean. The record contains greetings in 55 languages, music from around the world, natural sounds like thunder and ocean waves, and even a baby's cry. These records were included in case the spacecraft is ever found by intelligent life. They serve as a time capsule of life on Earth. Voyager doesn't just explore space, it also carries our hopes and culture into the stars. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.